Hello everybody, sorry I can't be there. My name's Jeremy Blaine, I'm the Regional Managing Director of Sagos Asia Pacific. I'd like to take a few minutes just to tell you a little bit about our company and to explain the e-learning that you're going to have a demonstration of shortly. So who is Sagos? Well, Sagos is one of the largest training companies in the world today. We're definitively the number one in Europe, that's our heartland, and we've been operating across Asia Pacific region for around 15 years now. We specialise in the development of managers and their teams, personal and professional development for the world today. And often these are called soft skills, but for us these are the hard skills of business. How do I manage? How do I have a tough conversation? How do I do a performance appraisal? And that really is the heart of our expertise. So with a turnover of around 230 million US dollars, we invest around 10% of that per annum in research and development. So this research is really important for us as an organization because we're facing the same challenges that no doubt you are. In the last 10 years, we've had to adapt our offer to incorporate technology-based learning so that we can offer blended approaches to learning. We can offer e-learning, mobile, et cetera, et cetera. We call that a multi-mode approach to learning and we offer that across all of the capability areas from management, leadership, change, sales, negotiation, interpersonal skills and professional effectiveness. It's very important that any learning professional and learning organisation has the right solutions for their business. But equally important is getting the right thing in place for the learners themselves who these days are a little bit more discerning about when and what they learn. So let me focus on our e-learning for you and just give you a flavour of what it's all about before you get the demonstration shortly. So we've developed around 200 e-learning modules of must-have knowledge for managers and their teams. And the important thing to have in mind about that is that we're developing this as a learning organisation, not a technology company. We feel it's the learning which is the critical element to it. Technology should enable it. So let me just walk you through a very simple model which explains what they are, how they work, and importantly, what you can do internally to implement these in your organisation. So as a learning organisation putting e-learning modules together, we were guided by two key principles. The first thing, it must be driven by the learning goal. So what's the outcome that we want from any of the e-learning modules? The second thing was about learner engagement and environment. Even for an off-the-shelf package like these, it's got to be attractive, fun, entertaining, and of course engaging for the learner so that they are active within the learning right throughout. The modules themselves also come preloaded with multiple languages. So if you're a multinational organisation and you have a need for multiple languages, they're ready built in. You don't pay twice. We've designed them to be as flexible as we can possibly make them. So they are available off the shelf, ready made as they are now, and they fulfill the needs of this must have learning that I was talking about. However, some organizations have a need to slightly customize it or customize it to a greater degree. And we've built that flexibility in there. So if you want light customization, for example, if the content is fine, but you would just like your logo or color scheme on there so it feels like it's part of your portfolio, we can do it. But if you'd like to go a little bit further and adapt it to your context, then you can customize it further. Let's take example a module on performance appraisals. It's likely that you may have your own templates internally. So instead of using the templates and tools that were within the module, you can create your own learning sequences or add your own documents to customize it to your environment and to your context. So these e-learning modules that either you have off the shelf or you slightly customized can be accessed as a standalone e-learning module or standalone personal development, or they can be blended in the courses that you run already to extend the learning or to reinforce key learning points. They can even be associated with assessment pre and post each e-learning module so that you can get a sense from each individual learner going through it where they were where they started the module and where they are afterwards. To supplement that assessment throughout the module itself, we add quizzes, activities and tests so that the learner is constantly engaged and is reinforcing the learning as they go along rather than just waiting to the end. In terms of access as well, we're very flexible. You can access it through our learning management system or LMS. You can access it through your LMS or through our partner's LMS, whatever suits you and your learners. 
So you've heard a little bit about who we are and what we do, and our own learning journey in the last 10 years particularly. We've really had to adapt what we offer from almost exclusively face-to-face -to, -face to technology enabled learning. So when we do that from a learning company point of view, not the technology point of view, it means the differentiating point of these e-learning modules versus ones you may have seen before are the pedagogical standards that are built within. It's about the learning goal. What is the outcome that we want to achieve? It's about the learner engagement and the learner environment so that we keep them within the module so they go through the learning and stand a much greater chance of completing it and applying the learning back in the workplace. So enough of me talking about it, why don't I hand back to the team now who can give you a full demonstration of a module so you can see all of these elements in action. I really hope you enjoy it.